we need to sit down. We, the three of us need to sit down and figure out what the plan is for you to win if we have no money to do direct mail and we have no money to do radio ads and if the only reason we're raising money is for you to put it in your own pocket. Because apparently I'm not getting paid. So, you know, we go to court after you after the election's over because I'll fulfill my obligation to you. But, I mean... What is your plan? What what in your mind do you think is going to happen? How do you expect us to get the message out with no money and 500 yard signs? And the only people who can put the yard signs out are three people who aren't too thrilled with you at the moment because you don't think we deserve to get paid. So I mean, just what is your thought process, Daniel? What is your thought process to get? You know, because um, you might want to call your attorney's office and, and get a meeting on the books on Monday because Justin is still mad. I, I, I've been calling him and I emailed him. Did you call his office? There's people at his office because I talked to his office before I talked to you. His secretary said that he'll get to all his messages when he get back. Is what you can't said. call and make an appointment? I'll, I'll try and schedule an appointment. Call and say, I, want to make, I need to make an appointment on Monday for us to come in because this is getting to be some bullshit because the meetings are going to stop. Justin is not, he could care less if you win. In fact, I doubt he votes for you. And he had half a mind to call Chris Hartman and get you to lose your, your fairness endorsement. Because Justin, unlike me, is really close with the big gays in Louisville. So, you know, you've already pissed him off. One thing he cannot stand is to have someone who he thinks is inferior to him. And here's a newsflash. You're inferior to him in his mind. You're 36 years old. You rent a house. You rent an apartment. He's 26 years old and owns a $200,000 house and drives a $40,000 car, which he paid cash for. Do you honestly think that you are even on his radar? He doesn't like you personally, and he especially doesn't like you for the way you talk to me and, de and demean me and talk down to me because he's the only person who's allowed to do that in his mind. And, I mean, he's ready to sue you. You know where my meeting was with? With Chris Hartley. He will take you to court in a second because we can't use Eric because Eric's um, conflicted out. So we're more than happy to go to court. And we're using Chris Hartley, who's also involved in politics. So that may not be the best thing in the world. If you honestly think, because you owe me five fifty-five hundred dollars how much do you think you're going to spend in attorney fees to fight with us for court? I don't know. Because the two of us, because the two of us, and you know what, Daniel? You want to throw that fucking email around that you threw around to Justin yesterday? When you paid my bill online in March that showed the balance was 5500 that was it in writing. And I cannot fucking stand liars. And you lied to Justin yesterday. Do you not think he and I talk? Do you not think we've been best friends for six fucking years? Do you not think we don't own a business together? Do you not think Mary John and I talk? Do you think Mary John is supporting you because of you? Or do you think Mary John is supporting you because of me? Because she works for you. Exactly. Do you not think that these people talk to me? Do you not think that these people have not known me for a very long time? I mean, what the fuck? Justin and I may have problems because he's still my boyfriend. But, I mean, other than that, we're pretty much on the same page. And that page is getting paid. I can't go to Derby this year. The one thing, I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in God. I don't like Christmas. I don't like Thanksgiving. I don't like anything. The only holiday that I like is Derby. And because of you owing me money, I can't go. And your refusal to pay. You have now ruined my Derby and Brent's Derby. You walked off before I Oh, I'm it. sorry. There you go. Oh, I'm just gonna put it on. I appreciate it. Yeah. And good luck well, to you next year. Thank you. Well, well I can't say too thing. much for that. Because <laughs> Michael Bowman's a friend of mine. So, can't be for somebody who's gonna cost him his job, but. He'll find another one for sure. That He's he... got black though. But no, and that's your area though. That's a good area. That's the area that could go to us for us. Yeah. And uh, 13. Paradown Valley Station. Is that Vicki Welch? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to work for her husband when he ran for judge a couple years ago. Well, Kevin Trimble's a good friend of mine. Me and him go a little far back. So, well, that's good. I would like it if Kevin would run. Didn't he run before? Didn't he run against Mary Ann when uh, George Melton retired? Yes, but it didn't go too well. Well, right, yeah. So. Well, I mean, they've been voting for her daddy for since the 80s, yeah. 78 or something. Alright, thank you. Right, I know when you need help, too. Alright. I told you I would. Alright, appreciate it. Thank we you. appreciate right. it. Thank you. Good night. Good day.
I'm trying to not fight the trigger. It's not like you owe you owe us money. I don't understand how someone why do you think you're not entitled? Why do you think you're entitled to not pay? Why do you think you're entitled to have this right? All those fucking assholes are still protected. Standing at you, you're publicly accused of And then, like I'm some goddamn intern passing out yarn cards. If I ran against you, I would destroy you. And the next time you run for office, because here's a newsflash, you're probably going to lose in May. I may not even vote for you. On the only reason, the only reason I'm still voting for you, is because. I, it makes me look good if you win. And if you stiff us, my mother will go on Facebook, and she will go on Twitter, and she will embarrass you two weeks before this primary. She will make it so you will never get a KEA endorsement. Ever. No matter what office you run for. And if you fuck me over, I will move, and I will run against you for any office you run against. And I, I'll spend as much money as I need. I don't need, I can print this shit for free. And at cost. And I'll, I'll wipe the, you and Jeff Noble and anyone else who you, Patty Stalker, I don't give a fuck. Okay? And I know you've been running your goddamn mouth about me. And I don't appreciate it. When I'm out here busting my ass, working for fucking free. I know you work for free on Campaign Daniel, but that's because you're not a political consultant. That's because you don't have a degree in it. That's because you don't have a background in it. I do. This is my livelihood. If you want to go to war with me, we will go to war. I will go to war with you, and I will do worse to you than I did to Sean Riley and Kurt Morrison. All you have to do is pay my fucking bill. I'm, you know, it's just ridiculous that that it, that I'm out here in goddamn bullets in for high school, helping you get elected. You publicly demean me by calling me a staffer, like I'm some like I'm some of these these kids that hang out with Matt Bevan and Jamie Comer. I mean, who the I am a independent political consultant that owns an agency that's worth about $500,000 that I do in fees. And then you're going to fucking demean me? I didn't intend to demean you. Oh, please, Daniel, you demean me all the time. You snap fingers. You know Candace Jurowski was going to give you $100? She's not giving you a dime. You know why? Because you snapped your fingers and ordered me around about some fucking JCPS emails that you goddamn gave me. Those were my friends that came. My friends. I didn't see a goddamn one of your friends at that thing, at Ken Herndon's house. And then you, you, you pitch a bitch and call it an unmitigated disaster in front of Ken Herndon? I mean, have some fucking sense, you know? I mean, Sandy McLaughlin has more fucking sense than you. I mean, honestly. It's just, I don't get it. I don't get the mindset and the entitlement of someone who has a professional agency working you know, if I was billing you by the hour, you'd owe me a lot more than 550. If I figured out what my agency rate is for the project we're working on, the travel expenses, the where my car is fucked up because I've been driving your dumb ass around the state. Because of the wear and tear on it. I mean, but you don't care about that because I guess you deserve it, right, Daniel? You deserve it some, somehow. Because for as long as I've known you, you've tried to be a leader in politics. You, you've tried to belong and you don't belong. And the reason why you don't belong is because people see what you are. You're a piece of shit that is trying to stiff me out of money. That's exactly what you are. And I got a business partner that is ready to suit you. And will pay, he will pay as much money as it takes in legal fees. Because when we win, because we will win, you'll be paying our legal fees. So you can pay us $12.50 and calm us all down and then agree to pay us what you actually owe, which you agreed to in my office, Daniel. Which you agreed to in my office. Brent was there. He will, is glad to be deposed if we go to court. And do you, uh, Daniel, and you don't have the balls to go to court against us. I mean, you can't handle making calls for $100. You think you're going to go to court against us, against every judge on the bench that's there because of me? Let's see. Let's let's go down the circuit court garage. I, I, I like to go. McKay Chavan got him elected. Susan Gibson got her elected. Uh, Charlie Cunningham worked with him. I mean, you know, good luck, buddy. Good fucking luck. I mean, if you pay our bill tomorrow, then we'll be fine. But you, for some reason, feel the need to get free work. I don't get that. Answer me right now why you think you deserve free labor. I, I don't think I deserve free work, but I'd like to leave now. Are you?
you going to pay the bill tomorrow? I'm not I'll paying, cancel the fucking meeting with I'm John White. I'm not paying anything until, until Tom gets back. And no, that's bullshit, Daniel. That, then you put these signs in my car. And the van. Open okay, it. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. And I'm going to call Mary John, and I'm canceling the meeting with John White Brown. And the next call I make is to Joe Arnold, and I'm going to say the person who's running to be our next treasurer doesn't like to pay his own bills. That might make a good news story. Or you know who else might think that's a good news story? Neville Blakemore. If you agree today to pay what you owe, I'm, I'm Jacob. I'm, you owe me money. Jacob, I'm gonna go. I would like to speak to Tom first before doing this. You're a piece of fucking shit, buddy. You're a piece of shit. You are a piece of shit. After this, after you lose the primary on May 19th, I'm gonna ensure personally that you don't get elected. You're a piece. Of shit. You are why people don't like Jews. You are exactly what where the term Jew you out of something came from. You're exactly why my grandfather and everybody else I know has had a hard time doing business in the city. Because you're trying to skip me out of fucking money that you in contractually owe me. You knew what it was, and now you're not paying it because you want to pay yourself. You cheap bastard son of a bitch. get a job as a fucking staffer on a goddamn Metro Council team. I'm doing you the favor. You don't want me on the phone making phone calls ruining this election because Jeff accused me of sabotaging this campaign on the phone the other day. Guess what, buddy? If I want to sabotage it, I can. Because when I go to the media and say, take a look at his finance report, he spent $1,380 on eating out with his wife. They're, they are mis They are committing, you are committing a fraud. You're not raising money to run for treasurer. You're raising money to play politician. And I'm about fucking tired of it. 